Kia ora koutou. Annyeonghaseyo. I'm delighted to join in congratulating the Korea Foundation on hosting the third Public Diplomacy Week with support from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is virtually under the COVID-19 pandemic, which is now regarded as a new normal. New Zealand and Korea are like-minded partners and have been building a solid bilateral relations since 6,000 New Zealanders participated in the Korean War to defend the people of the Republic of Korea. During this period, the New Zealanders also shared a very famous song of our indigenous Māori people, Pō Kare Kareana, with the Korean people. The Korean version you all know as Yonga. In 2022, our diplomatic relations will mark their 60th anniversary, and this will be a further opportunity for New Zealand's public diplomacy in Korea and vice versa. Our excellent relations have been backed by our robust people-to-people -people relationships in many areas, including business, tourism, education, and culture, along with a strong presence of the Korean community in New Zealand, nearly 1% of our entire population. Our public diplomacy goal is to promote New Zealand's foreign policy goals, international profile, and values. Through our public diplomacy programs here in Korea, we would like to let our audiences in Korea experience our uniquely New Zealand values of kaitiakitanga, manakitanga, ingenuity, and integrity. To support our public diplomacy programs, New Zealand's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade runs the Public Diplomacy Fund. Some recent public diplomacy events in Korea, supported by that fund, are last year we coordinated rugby diplomacy programs here in Korea around the Rugby World Cup. We invited Israel Dag, a former player with the All Blacks, New Zealand's men's rugby team, which is one of the strongest rugby teams in the world using that fund. The programs involving him included a rugby charity dinner, rugby training with Korea University, a coaching clinic with Korean coaches, and a kids coaching clinic. It provided great opportunities to share New Zealand's world-leading rugby skills with people in Korea. Last year, we supported the New Zealand Incheon Film and Gaming Evening, featuring the world-renowned Oscar-winning New Zealand film creator, Sir Richard Taylor in Songdo. Guests experienced Sir Richard Taylor's Weta Workshop's newly developed mixed reality game and watched footage showcasing New Zealand's filmmaking capabilities. In addition, New Zealand and Korea, Korean creativity were celebrated in the award ceremony of the conceptual design competition held during the reception. Now we believe that all these public diplomacy events are helping to portray brand New Zealand as modern and sophisticated and future-oriented destination in Korea. In addition to the clean and green image for which Aotearoa New Zealand is already known, this is one of our priorities that we want to achieve through our public diplomacy efforts. Once again, thank you to the Korea Foundation and our other partners for hosting this great event. We look forward to virtually showcasing our pieces to audiences in Korea throughout the week. Kamsamnida. Thank <laughs> you.